welcome to this, this lecture, MIS 411. 411. Today, we're talking about discussing on the impacts, the impacts of information system on business. The impacts of information system and business. From the last classes we've been having, we've been able to present to us what a management information system is all about and how they are important to any organization. Very, very important. Today, we shall discuss briefly on the impacts of the system on business, on the impacts of this information system in business. Now, we don't take much of our time. We all know why it's important that there's a good information flow in every business. Why it's important for a good business information system in every organization. It's very important. For instance, if all things works well within the different levels of the organization, then it will be easy to do business. Yes. It makes it easy you know, to share operational data. Very important. Share operational data. You know, make revision histories, which means uh, trying to fall back to things you've done before. And then you communicate, communication records would also be what will be there. Now, let me take it again. It makes it easy to share operational data. Makes it easy to share operational data. Then think about the revision history. Simply means you're able to review the things you have or you've gone through or that you've presented or that you have in stock. You're able to know them. So that you fall back to them in case you want to make references. And then there's also communication records. Communication records is very important. And then documentation. It makes all these things easy when there's a good information flow. As I say, it's one of the impacts, the impact of a business information system in any organization. Yes, it's very important in business, in anything you do, that it makes it easy to share operational data. Can agree with me? Revision histories simply means past events. Able to recall past events and see how they correlate with the present is very important. You know? And then you have your communication records, communication records, things that have gone probably through your meetings, previous meetings, discuss on issues that bothers the company, either for good or for corrections. It should be there. You can always call back, probably like form of minutes, meetings, and then documentation. Documentation is very important. All these things are. They have some of the impact. Now, it eases the process of decision making. You agree with me? It eases the process of decision making. Yes, because it makes things easy because you can easily fall back to your past record or the OSHA discovered as revision histories or your communication records. You can fall back to them and see how it makes. So it makes the decision process very easy and simplifies the process of delivering the required information and assists in taking better decisions instantly. Yes, it gives you the opportunity of making decisions instantly, the process of delivering the required information and assist in taking or in taking better decisions instantly because you have the pre-record. It's very important. Let me go over again. One of the impacts of information system on businesses or in an organization that it makes it easy to share operational data. Yes. Revision histories, which I mean by saying that histories or past events, past events, you're able to record them and see how those decisions, you know, make, make progress in the business. Then if it's, if it's truly worth it, you can now what, learn from the past histories and then begin to work on it, to improve on it. Then you also have the communication records, yes, from meeting held previously, yes, from previous meeting held previously, you'll be able to know when and where we ended and where and where we're taking decisions on how to run our organization properly. And you're making this you also simplify the process of delivering the required information. Yes, because you have authentic or you will be able to authenticate the information you actually need to solve a problem in the organization. And then you also assist in taking better decisions instantly. Now there are situations where an organization may be faced with some crisis. Let's say, for example, this issue of corona uh, uh, history, a corona problem in the world that no organization actually anticipated it. So speaking, nobody actually anticipated it. 
So, but when you have a good history, a good record information about the environment, about your business environment, then you can be able to take instant decisions to curb the excesses or curb problems that might arise from issues like this. It's very important. Very important. Yes. For those joining us now, I said we're talking about the impacts, the impacts of information technology on businesses. The impact as the part was talking about, the impact has to do with how does it, how does information system, how does it help organization? Now, what what is what's why is it necessary? Why is it important for them to have these processes? Yes, how? How does it impact it? How does it favor it? How does it make it grow? How does it make it change formation? These are things we're talking about. Now, one that makes it easy to share operational data. Yes, as I said, then revision history, which I mean by you have your past events, past company events, how they fare in cases, how they, how they could not make, and how those mistakes they made, and those corrections they made, and able to work on their mistakes, and able to correct it in the future. Now, you have the communication records. Yes, communication records. Simply means keeping events by the form of minutes of all the, the decisions or the policies or things that were discussed during the meetings in order to, that, that were actually designed in improving or get, making the business to grow. And then documentation is so very important. Keep documents, you know, got documents of events is very important. Now, this said, it eases the process of decision making. Yes, it eases it. Simply means it makes it very simple in taking what decision and also simplifies the process of delivering the required information. Very important. Take note of this. This quite simplifies the process of delivering the required information and assist in taking better decisions instantly. Yes, it gives you the opportunity of taking decisions instantly without actually you know, trying to what, get to sort for ideas because you already have the information to it. Yeah, that's the first one. Then secondly, now talk about efficiency. Efficiency. All we think is just one. Talking about easy operations, yes. Now we're talking about second one. It improves efficiency. Efficiency. You can agree with me that when there's a comprehensive or a very you know detailed information management, then to go to prove efficiency and then increase the workflow. Agree with me. It increases workflow, makes the business flow to be efficient. Things will happen at the right time. Yes, information you are getting get at the right time, and each of the information are being channeled to the various departments. They are required. By the managers. So every manager, every manager in the level has different information that are important to them. Not all information that comes in are important to all, but you pick those ones that are relevant to your department and make it work, make it work. Now I think it proves efficiency and increased workflow considerably. Yes, let's speak on that. It improves efficiency and increased workflow considerably. Yes, let me let me especially this. Now we say efficiency simply means these are done well. Things are done at the right time and at the right venue. Yes, things are done correctly. There's let very little, very little room for error. Very little room for error because you anticipate these things on time and based on the information you have on that on those info, on those things, it makes it easy for you to actually what carry out the job. It makes it easy. That's the efficiency. It simply means everything will be done well, well with very little error involved. The yes, the, the level of precision will be high. Because you participated, you from the history you had from your record, you know where you can easily make corrections before before you are faced with such problems, and then it increases workflow. Yes, if when there's efficiency, high level efficiency, which means things are working at the right time and the workplace. So, which means it's going to increase the workflow. Things will happen at a very speedy rate. Yes, because things are there's no delay, there's no delay at all, there's no delay because anything, everything you needed, or you, a, a manager needs. To work on that on that department or on that problem are really available because these informations are there. Yes, they are there because you have a, you have a revision history of them. There's a communication record re, uh, records kept. You know, so it makes it easy for everything to be done correctly. So the efficiency will be very high. And if efficiency, efficiency is high, then they tend to go out and increase workflow. Now, you said it helps in developing. You know, uh, a, a, a continuous process. Yes, it helps. In what developing an automated process for business it helps in developing automated process for business how do i mean simply means every processes that are involved and if everything that are needed for you to carry out that carry out that job process in your department are automated which means are computerized you can easily go and get them get, get them get, get information directly from what the archive or where it's being kept 
Now, when you do that, it makes everything flow. You just tap, simple tap on the computer, can easily bring back those prevision histories or communication records or things that were created automated in the system and then mix your workflow very, very effective. Now, this not only help in, you know, in reducing the cost. Actually, when these things happen, costs are reduced. Yes, you reduce cost because you spend, you work directly. There's no delay, there's no, no bureaucracy or things that could have delayed your process. And then because when there are long processes, then cost will increase. Cost of you no know, cost of taking decisions will increase because a lot of things will be involved. Now, this does not only help in reducing the cost of operation, but also saves time. Please take note. It does not only increase or reduce the cost of operation, but also saves time. Yes, now. Now the time, you no, know, that, that would have been that would have been wasted will be utilized to focus on other words, tax. Yes, the time that would have been wasted would have been what used to utilize, to, would have been utilized to focus on other tax. Thus, speeding up businesses process significantly. Thought, speeding up business processes or significantly. Let me go all over again. I see the second one that it improves efficiency and increase workforce. Yes, it improves efficiency and increase workforce. Yes, that's, that is right. It increase efficiency and what improves what increase workflow. Yes, workflow. Pardon, workflow, not workforce. Now, workflow simply means that when there's high level of efficiency, then the workflow will be there. And when there's increased workflow, there will be high productivity. We are doing that. When these are done correctly at the right time and the right place, then things will work better. Now, said this efficiency you're talking about will not only help you reducing the cost of operations. Yes, you agree with me that you agree with me that when there are bureaucracies in business transaction or business process, then there's found to be wasted costs because so many things will be incurred, so many factors will come in, so many things will creep in, and these things creeping in will definitely increase the cost. But when these things are eliminated, definitely it's going to work. Save costs now. Now save costs and those and not just cost and time. When you say business is time, they're not yes, not just increasing, not just reducing cost, but also what saves time because the time you would have spent. You know, in trying to all those long processes would have been utilized to focus on other tasks towards speeding up business process significantly. Yes, let me go over again for those who are just joining us. We're talking about 411, MIS 413. We're talking about the impact of information system on businesses. Yes, the impact of information systems information system on businesses. Now, said information system can also reduce the member the number of levels. Yes, in aggregation, you agree with me. That business information can reduce the number of that the number of levels in organization by providing managers with information towards so towards supervise larger number of workers. The group it is it is good efficiency. Then definitely the levels all the levels which mean bureaucracy will be reduced. Now in a, in an organization where you have the upper, the lower, and the middle where everything has to go through the processes normally, but when there is a good information flow. The managers can be able to reduce levels. Just it can skip a lot of a lot of levels, and then information can be passed directly to those who are actually this instead of going through through the bureaucratic processes that would about increase you know delays, 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 and that is not that is not good for an organization. This has to be done mostly in this our in our in our, science, in our jet aid when this has to work, computer aid when this has to go go speedily because if you fail to do that, if your delivery time is so so poor. Then you know you are out of business because a lot of companies who use down as you know as elastic to pull you down. So things will be done speedily. Yes, we say that information system can reduce the number of levels in an organization. Yes, by providing managers with information to supervise larger numbers of workers. Yes, and by giving them lower level employees more decision making authority. Yes, it's very important. Now let me break this down. It looks logical, but it's true that I want to. And say that in information system and organization where there are too many bureaucratic processes passing from one level to another, yes, that time that would have you no know, probably the, the next level who the information will pass to don't actually need it, but it will be passed directly to that level that needs it, which means a lot of levels will be bycotted. Yes, you just go straight to that level. For, for take for instance, if the information is actually meant for the lower for the lower level workers. Yet the lower employees, then there's no need of going through those long processes. You just send it directly to that lower employees and it gives them the authority of making decisions instantly. Yes, it gives them that authority because the information is passed directly to them. Yes, it makes it very easy.
Now, these are some of the highlights we've made. There are so many students also trying to make your own research and find out why it's important because it all depends on the organization. Yes, I'm talking about generally in every organization. Let me make a recap. Say the first, it makes it easy to do what? To, to do what? To share personal data. Yes, makes it easy to share operational what? data or to store them yes then they also have your revision history simply means things that have happened in the, in the past in companies that are happening present and how those things can use as a as, 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 a, as a correction measures when the issues arises yes they also have what the communication records communication records probably in a meeting records kept during meetings for minutes in terms of how the company will grow that yes those things will be there and when they are there, it makes it easy for you to watch. So just go back to the archive and get this information and know where you are heading to. And documentation is also very important because these are documented. And when they are documented, it makes it easy for you to watch, assess. Now, say it eases the process of decision making. Yes, simplify the process of delivering the required information and they will assist in taking decision or taking better decision instantly. Now, this is the first one. It makes it easy to store operational data revision histories, communication records, and documents. Now, it says it eases the process of decision making and does simplify the process of delivering the required information and assist in taking better decision instantly. You agree with me on that. Now, secondly, we talked about efficiency, which is the most paramount. The efficiency, yes, it improves efficiency. Yes, when information system organization it's working well. Things are happening at the right time. Every information needed externally, internally, if they're intact, have the revision history, have the records, then it makes the work be more efficient. And when it's efficient, it increases the workflow considerably. Yes, because things are happening at the right time. No delay, no efficiency, no errors. We have almost what zero, uh, zero, what, zero error. Yes, almost, almost. But no, nothing is perfect in nature, but the errors will be what so minimal that things will work speedily, yes. Now, it helps in developing automated process for business, yes. It helps to provide to provide what automated process simply means there's, there's a standard, when it's automated, there's a standard, yes, a standing process that is there that you just fall back to each time you need uh, assistance in terms of any, any issue that arises, it's automated. Now, this not, this process does not only help in reading, it was in reducing cost of operation, does not only help in reducing cost of operation, but also saves time. Yes, it saves time because you do, you do the right thing at the right time. Now, if it saves time, not just the cost, but time. Now, in terms of cost, we're talking of the time you spent in all these processes, documentation, filing, and the rest. Now, you may even get to need some extra workers or extra hands to do this. And you are, you are, you are killing cost. What about the materials, the paperwork, and other stuff you do, the logistics and the rest? This is uh, increasing the cost of operation. But when there's a automated process for, for in your business, then everything is going on well, everything is efficient, there's an increased workflow, then there's about to what? They have to reduce cost. Yes, because things are happening at the right time. You don't spend so much. And, as, and also, at this time, total what? Saves time. Saves all time. It's very important. You know all these things now. Now, the time that you have spent, you know, in doing other processes, in trying to, to make things, you know, trying to sort out issues, you know, will be there, will be eliminated. Yes, we, so those time should have been utilized to focus on other incoming tasks. Now, what does it mean? It simply means that for every organization, there are bound to be issues. Yes, there are bound to be issues. Now, issues are coming, challenges are coming steadily every time. Because as you move in life, on life, higher you go, according to the English word, say the color becomes no. But in this case, the higher you go, the tougher it becomes. Yes, you're going to face more challenges as you are growing mostly for your competitors and those who are in your line of business, definitely. So when you spend so much time in trying to solve a problem, then you're giving room for your competitors who are faster than you to be able to take control and then because of the problem. So you, you must save time, save time, your cost and time, so that the time that was spent in, you know, in taking care of the, the, the new problem, the new tax, you know, would have been spent on that instead of spending on other events that you ought to have corrected from the onset. It's very important. And then we talked about the, you know, we talked about when there's a good information flow that it reduces the number of, you know, number of levels in organization. Yes. You ask me how. Now, when, for example, 
we want to consider the three levels of organization three levels they have the upper the middle and the lower now if an information now each of these levels of organization have informations that are important to them not all the information that are available are important to them because each of them have different departments to operate and the problems the management from this from the department are different they're not they're not they're not they're not, they're not connected for instance those in the upper upper the top managers the problem is how to raise make policies you know how to see how externally the business is making how it's faring and how the competition is you know going on going on then in the middle level so basically we I mean, have to organize the internal structure itself because they're in departments department managers then the lower one is just what the instructions for what has been passed down from the upper hand now what i'm saying effect is that if this information that is needed is meant for the lower house now it meant for lower employees now why don't you pass it directly to them that's the question why don't you pass it directly to them instead of going through that bureaucracy so which means in, a, in an organization where there's a perfect or very close to perfect information system a lot of the, you can reduce the number of levels yes can reduce the number of levels can be reduced yeah now let's say for instance now in this recent time what we have you know the ai the intelligence now very soon you see machine taking about businesses taking about jobs now definitely we're humans in operations before now but when there are machines now what's what's the end of getting humans it's very important when the humans the cost will be increased and then you talk of dangers probably kind of the big jobs they're doing that you know that the hazardous their health environment and then machines can do this considerably without actually what placing those those health risk and rest so if you use the machine become cheaper now if you use man man will end up getting sick getting exposed going to healthcare management system the Haitian mode and the rest and then the company begins to spend so much so why don't you know why don't you get the computers involved those highly intelligent machines to do the job and it's just done which means you've you kind of limited you have you have limited the, the, the workflow simply means a lot of some of those levels will be will, will be will be scrapped yes a lot of job loss that's what i'm trying to say now it's not it's not good in terms of job loss but for the business it's good because it's going to reduce cost Yes, it's going to reduce cost. The time they would have spent in moving from this level to another will be reduced considerably. That's what I'm trying to say. Yes, it may not be good you know, for the workforce who will lose job because basically because they don't need their levels. They don't need to. They, yes, their important importance in the chain is not relevant because they just move directly to the source and they can affect the job, the capacity of the job. That in terms of the the, the amount of staffs, or definitely. The company is making it the business is growing because they have the less up they don't have to pay less and then make more profits yes now for those who are just coming in for, for network issues i don't know how network has been yes what to take a recap this is conclusion for those who are just coming today we are talking about mis 411 cover the impacts of information management system and businesses yes information management system on businesses we said one it makes the job easy to share operational data yes Take visual history simply means event, past events in the organization. And then there's com good communication records. There's good communication records, probably from past meetings, board meetings, the decisions taken, yes, and how they, they discussed on the way forward. This, this can also be what important. So that when you need them, you just go to the archive and get them. And so they were documented too. Now, it simply means that it eases the process of decision making, yes, because anything you need, you're available. You just go to the archive and retrieve them. And also simplifies. The process of delivering the required information, yes, and assist in taking these better decisions instantly. Yes, we, we should be discussing before when you pass when the, 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 the level of organization that actually need, need information gets at the right time without going through many processes, then they tend to what make it faster because the, the required information they need is coming to them directly, not real, not just not filtered, not being altered through the process because the processes the information takes. Can get information altered, get from there could be different interpretations to it. But if the people who actually need this get the right get information, the life to assist them making taking better decisions instantly because they actually need the information. Now talk about efficiency, it proves efficiency. What I'm saying here is that it increases workflow when there's high level of efficiency, and then the workflow will increase. Yes, it improves efficiency. You ask me how, yes, when things are done well correctly, and then workers are putting their best do the right right time, it will be done. Very well, yes. The efficiency will be there, yes. Got this will be done properly. Now, and if it's still not done properly, it also increase the workflow considerably. It will increase the workflow considerably for that uh, business. Now, it also makes the business, you know, being automated. Every process will be automated because these things are done, you know, computerized form. 
that you don't begin to need, you don't need to begin to ask for humans. They're automated, they're documented. Go to the archive, whether the computer system, retrieve them, and then you work on that. And then yes. Now, this doesn't only work this way, it only helps, it's also, it does not only help increase the cost of operation. Yes, because when too many Bukati process are involved, then the costs tend to go up. But when this is done in this way, you're going to reduce costs, not just only reducing costs, you're going to save time. Save time, yes, save time. At the time you'd have spent, you know, you know, in, in trying to resolve issues that ought to have been resolved because you didn't have what an archive. There's no, there's no, there's no, there's no good information flow system. So sorry for the interruption. So what is that? Then on the last one, we said that information system can also reduce the number of levels in an organization. Well, from level organization in an organization. That is, what does it say? Because the number of levels in an organization are there, you know? But if information is getting, going directly to that very uh, level that actually needs this information, So these are some of the facts or some of the impacts of um good information system in an aggregation. Now that note, um I have to give an assignment, so I'll not do that. I'll still have my after my next class, my next class will be given assignments and uh an email at content address. I'll give to you. So thank you very much for listening. I hope you stay safe where you are. Don't go out late to avoid um, these bad guys. No, we know they're fighting for us anyway. But team of it. Thank you and remain blessed. Bye bye.